Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your trainer for this DP900 Azure Data Fundamentals Examination course. In this video, we're going to learn about get started with building with Power BI. In this lesson, we will learn about how Power BI services and application work together and we will explore how Power BI can make your business more efficient. And towards the end, we will learn about how to create a compelling visuals and reports. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Microsoft Power BI is a collection of software services, apps, and connectors that work together to turn your unrelated sources of data into coherent, visually immersive, and interactive insights. Whether your data is a simple Microsoft Excel workbook or a collection of cloud-based and on-premises hybrid data warehouses, Power BI lets you easily connect to your data sources, visualize what's important and share that with anyone and everyone you want. Power BI can be simple and fast, capable of creating quick insights from an Excel workbook or a local database. And Power BI is also robust and enterprise grade ready, not only for extensive modeling and real time analytics, but also for custom development. Therefore, it can be your personal report and visualization tool, but can also serve as an analytics and a decision engine behind group projects, divisions, or entire corporations. And Power BI consists of a Microsoft Windows desktop application called Power BI Desktop, an online SaaS service called Power BI Service, and mobile Power BI apps that are available on any device with native mobile BI apps for Windows, iOS, and Android. So these three elements, Power BI Desktop, the service, and the mobile apps are designed to let create, share, and consume business insight in the way that serves them or their role most efficiently. So how you use Power BI might depend on your role on a project or a team. For example, you might view reports and dashboards in Power BI service, and that might be all you do with Power BI. But your number crunching, business report creating coworker might make extensive use of Power BI desktop. You also might use each elements of Power BI at different times, depending on what you are trying to achieve or what your role is for a given project or effort. So everything you do in Microsoft Power BI can be broken down into a few basic building blocks. After you understand these building blocks, you can expand on each of them and begin creating elaborate and complex reports. After all, even seemingly complex things are built from basic building blocks. For example, buildings are created with wood, steel, concrete, and glass. And cars are made of metal, fabric, and rubber. And of course, buildings and cars can also be basic or elaborate, depending on how those basic building blocks are arranged. So let's look at the basic building blocks for Power BI. The basic building blocks are visualizations, data sets, reports, dashboards, and tiles. So let's look at these elements in detail. First one is visualizations. A visualization is a visual representation of data, like a chart, a color-coded map, or other interesting things you can create to represent your data visually. Power BI has all sort of visualization types, and more are coming all the time. This example shows a collection of different visualizations that were created in Power BI service. Visualization can be simple, like a single numbers that represent something significant, or they can be visually complex, like a gradient colored map that shows voter sentiment about a certain social issue or concern. The goal of a visual is to present data in a way that provides context and insights, both of which would be probably be difficult to discern from a raw table of numbers or text. So what is data sets? A data set is a collection of data that Power BI uses to create its visualizations. You can have a simple data set that's based on a single table from a Microsoft Excel workbook, similar to what's shown in this image. Data set can also be a combination of many different sources. 
which you can filter and combine to provide a unique collection of data for use in Power BI. The next element is reports. In Power BI, a report is a collection of visualization that appear together on one or more pages. Just like any other report you might create for a sales presentation or write for a school assignment. A report in Power BI is a collection of items that are related to each other. So the next elements are dashboards and tiles. When you are ready to share a single page from a report or a collection of visualization, you create a dashboard, much like the dashboard in a car. A Power BI dashboard is a collection of visuals from a single page that you can share with others. So what are tiles? In Power BI, a tile is a single visualization on a report or a dashboard. It's the rectangular box that holds all the individual visual. When you are creating a report or a dashboard in Power BI, you can move or arrange tiles however you want. You can make them bigger or change their height or width and snuggle them up to other tiles. All right, so that concludes this module four. Now in the next video, we're gonna quickly do a knowledge check on all the things what we have learned on the previous videos. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.